okay friends so now we are going to start with our first drawing tutorial is drawing an assembly drawing of expansion joint so this is our example drawing so we are going this drawing is called as a part detail drawing so each part is having its own dimension and all these parts are going to assemble like this okay so these are example structure so this is sectional assembly view to understand how each part is going to adjust in another part this is our final output drawing of the assembly of the parts so before going to for going for the assembly we must know what are how to draw parts for 3d part first. so if you observe this drawing how many number of parts are there? Total seven number of parts are there: body, neck bush, gland bush, gland, pipe, nut, and bolt. Okay. So if you just neglect nut and bolt, one common part in all the five parts, common feature in all the five parts is these are all cylindrical hollow components, which means that we can use revolve boss command to draw all these five objects okay so we can draw a sketch which is required to make revolve boss to generate a particular part okay so wherever there is a hollow irregular cylindrical components are there there you can use revolve the boss command okay so we'll start with sketches one by one and we'll create a particular 3d part and save it one by one Okay, and then we, once all the parts are generated, then we are going to assemble it in assembly. Okay. Since all the parts are going to be assembled in a vertical manner, okay, and I'm going to use the revolve boss oh. command to generate all the all the hollow uh, hollow 3D cylindrical parts. Okay, so one general understanding, not uh, to make the complications in the drawing is that I can select a vertical plane to draw a revolve boss sketch. Okay, so if you observe in the SolidWorks, there are three planes: front plane, top plane, and right plane. Out of this, top plane is a horizontal plane. Front plane and right plane are vertical plane. So wherever there is a revolve boss command, revolve cut command, make a practice that. Your sketch will lie in a vertical plane. Okay, so if I select a front plane here, okay. now always have a practice that all the assembly is passing to one axis. So I'm keeping the axis as a constant passing through the origin. Okay. So I'm keeping the axis passing through the origin, which is the exactly vertical line. Okay. So these are not part details. Okay. So first thing is that we have to decide which part you are going to draw first. Okay. So suppose I'm going to draw, I'm going to start with a neck bush first. Okay. So consider this is my first object for consideration. Okay. We just have to while using a revolve boss command. We have to draw only structure which is at one side of the axis. Okay, there is if you are going to draw the left side, there is no need to draw the right side of the axis. Okay, because this cage is going to revolve about this axis. So, as I discussed previously, also while drawing any sketch in SolidWorks, first you have to draw that sketch arbitrarily, then you can change its dimension. Okay, so sketch is like this. Okay. Now we can give it dimension. So it's internal diameter. So first I'm defining my internal diameter. Then I can define the external diameter. Okay. Then I can define the height.
so like this i have defined internal diameter external diameter throughout length okay so that i will get this sketch as a fully defined sketch okay now this is the axis of revolution and this is the sketch to be revolved so if i make it an exit sketch go to the feature revolve boss if i choose this axis i will get this component as a next dish okay so if it understood this is my 3d part so every time when i create a 3d part i have to save it somewhere okay so new folder expansion join expansion join so you have to write the name of that part this is neck bush always use capital letters neck bush so since this part is completed and it is saved as you can see here the part is saved now so you can close it you have to go for the next part the next part I'm going to draw is a grand bush. So you can see the diagram here. And this is the grand bush. This is the object, which is exactly you can see in mirror image is the axis is here. That part is neck bush is vertical, it is like downward part is going to fit. Okay, so this compound I have to draw. The profile is similar like a neck bush. Again I have to select for the revolve boss I have to select a vertical plane. So in this you can draw from this. So that you have to draw axis first since the component is hollow axis will be always outside of the sketch again define the dimensions dimensions are so volume. outside diameter we are going to put in file this diameter is like next b5 the height is different i think So, I think all the dimensions have been already defined. Okay, you must take care of this internal diameter, external diameter. This is the maximum diameter, the curved edge. Okay, so these things have to be taken into account while drawing an object. Okay, so now just to check it, this dimension should be 12.5. So this is correct. So you can check like this also. The dimensions which will not define you want to check the diagram, you can just select any diagram, select any dimension and check if it is correct or not. Again same procedure, revolve the boss like this okay you can see the vertical object by rotating it around in here like this so you can again save this part this part is called as a grand bush so again it is saved you can close it File new the second part third part is going to be the the sequence of the drawing you want to draw it is user friendly you can define your own sequence you can draw body first then you can draw neck bush like this sequence can be arbitrarily depend on who is going to draw okay next I'm going to draw is a gland see while reading any part any assembly drawing uh, two things you have to take care is that its material 
and its quantity so whenever there is necessary to define material that time you can define this material and this is quantity now for body gland gland bush neck bush quantity is one five quantity is one but for nut and bolts you can see the quantity is four okay so there is no need to draw four bolts and four nuts you can use a circular pattern option in assembly okay so you have to draw this only one time then you can use a circular pattern option in assembly so always remember there is a no duplicate parts have to be drawn in a solid works okay since you can use replica of the pattern so now the next is plan again for drawing revolve boss select the vertical you can select the axis which is passing through the origin just you have to draw first that arbitrary shape then you can give the dimensions using smart dimension so this is very user friendly software compared to AutoCAD okay, since AutoCAD is limited for 2D drawings now just given dimensions we have to do the internal diameter is how much Okay. diameter is and last dimension to be defined is the height to 70. See, the internal diameter is defined, external maximum diameter is defined, height is defined. So, I think all the components are being defined here. Okay. Same thing, the wall boss. This is our gland. Okay. So, if you see the diagram of gland, so this is the gland. So, can you see there are holes? Or in diagram also it is given there are four holes of 16 mm diameter at this part okay now if you want to see the diagram sectionally since the given diagram is a sectional view i want to see this as a sectional view okay since the holes are visible in the sectional view okay we have to draw a circle such that the half part of a circle is visible should be visible here in the sectional view it means that center of circle should lie on this at this point okay such that it should pass to the sectional plane the center must pass to the sectional plane so that you will get half of a cylinder visible here okay is it understood so always remember that whenever you are given a drawing when your holes are there is it visible or not that is the question for example here is a pipe there are six holes given but in sectional view the hole is not visible okay it means that the hole will lie in a vertical plane okay in that case hole will lie here when the hole is visible for center of hole should be lie on horizontal axis when hole is not visible it should lie on vertical axis so please remember this so now i want to draw holes on this surface so sketch make it normal to the surface since i want to draw holes on this surface i have to make this surface as a sketch surface again to revise the previous thing just to revise i will make sure that see uh, i want to draw a sketch or i want to draw make some 3d operations on this space if i select this space i will get three options first is the edit feature edit feature means the feature which is used to draw this 3d object okay this is the feature here. Here is a revolve boss. When I want to change the revolve boss feature, I will click edit feature option. Then edit sketch. So edit sketch is okay. So once you click this, there is a edit feature option. Sketch, uh, edit sketch. So when you uh, edit sketch is a basic sketch from which we have drawn this object. So the, if you want to see that sketch, you can click here also. 
to edit script. So this is the basic case. So if you want to make changes in this, you have to click edit sketch. Okay. But what is my requirement now? I want to draw a sketch on this surface. So once I click this surface, if I make it scale, I can treat this surface as a plane now. Okay. So that is the idea. So to draw a hole, I have to draw a circle first. So before that, I have to make this surface normal to you. The sketch. Okay. Now there is a circle. Since the whole part of a hole is visible in a sectional view, I have to draw a hole here. Okay. Or else I would have to draw over here. If this if the part of hole is not visible in this section, I have to draw a hole here. So always remember whenever since this is a cylindrical component, there is no issue. But whenever there is a rectangle or irregular component in the sectional view. If the hole is available, if the hole is visible, you have to draw the hole on horizontal axis. This is the x-axis horizontal axis. And if the hole is not visible in the sectional view, you have to draw on this y-axis or vertical axis. So to define this hole diameter is so I suggest all of you to please have a hard copy of a part detailed drawing while referring this uh, tutorial. Since it is uh, sometimes difficult to see every time the object in a soft copy and to create the same object in a solid box, so we should have the soft copy of this. So, what is it? Radius. Yes. This is the radius. So, there are two parameters you have to specify to whenever there is a cylindrical component. First thing, its own dimension of the circle and its location. So, dimension and location are the two important parameters when you are going to draw any sketch on a 3D diagram. Okay, dimension and its location. Since how many holes are there? So, if you see any di this diagram, there are total four number of holes in 16 mm diameter. Okay. With this, this is the PCD. PCD means the distance between center to center of two opposite poles. So this is the radius. Now, if I make the exit sketch option, since I have to create a hole in this, so I will make there are three options: blind, wall, up to the next. So I will use up to the next to create a hole about this line. Okay. So if you click OK here. You will get a hole like this. Now I'm, I want four holes. So I will use circular pattern option in the feature. Okay, first thing is you have to define the circle. This is the circle I want to do. There are four holes. If you click okay. so now this is the gland. So this is the complete drawing. And again, you can save this drawing. This is a blank saved component. 